Hi guys, so today I'm showing you the DIY poker chips that I made for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day and I feel like you can make these for a lot of different occasions. Um, I did them for Valentine's Day obviously, but I feel like you could do them for like birthdays or anniversaries or holidays or like a party favor. I think it'd be really cute. And when I was looking to make him these because he was really into it, I looked online and like to get them personalized and like buy them. They're super expensive, so I found a much cheaper way to make them, and I don't know, I don't think it's that much different. It's more like a personal like memento anyway, so I just decided to make them, but I wanted to show you guys how I made them because it's super easy, super simple, and I really didn't see any videos on how to make them when I was trying to figure out how to make them. So I want to show you guys how I do that. So um, I have a bunch of clips already made because obviously they're already made, but I wanted to show you what supplies that I got just in case you're wondering, so I have my Mod Podge, and then I had a brush that I threw away because it had glue all over it, but I definitely recommend getting one of those like felt black um, brushes to brush this on with. And then this is like the most important part, it is a hole punch, it's a one inch circular punch, you can get these at Michaels or Joy Fabrics, and it's literally just a circle that you can punch out pictures with, and that is how I glued the pictures to the poker chips. And then I just had paper and um, pictures that I printed out and scissors and a sharpie. And I believe that's all that I used. And then I got these. This is the poker chip set that I got. I'm not sure if you guys can exactly see, but it has 100 chips. I definitely recommend not getting 100. If you can get like 50, definitely get 50 because 100 is a lot to make. Seriously, by the, by the end of it, you'll just be so tired. But this is what they look like. I show you guys kind of like up close in the video but okay, so I just want to show you guys what it looked like with the picture on it and then on the back I just wrote I love you and um, you can write whatever you want but I show you guys more in depth in the video but this is what I made and it's super easy so I just want to show you guys and I'm just gonna get started showing you guys that now okay so most of this video is gonna be a time-lapse but really quick before I start the time-lapse I just want to explain a little bit of what I got going on sorry you can't see my face or anything I just thought it was easier to kind of like see a close-up of what I got going on so the first thing I have is this sheet of pictures which I printed off from my laptop and if you guys have a MacBook then I'll just show you what I did. I selected all the pictures off of my photos and added those to a separate album and then I just highlighted them and I printed them all off of the, it's this contact sheet when you can like pick the size, I don't know if you guys can see exactly what this is. That way they print pretty small so I did that and printed, I did about 20 pictures and I have a hundred of the poker chips so I printed about five of those and then I it comes out like this and then like I talked about in my intro I use this thing it's a one inch hole punch and it works perfectly for the poker chips because if you can see this one's a little dirty but the inside of the poker chip where there's nothing there is um, about an inch so it fits exactly perfectly so I use this to cut out some pictures and you really have to make sure that the pictures are further away that way you can fit as much as you can onto the picture so I printed all these out and then I already cut most of them out just so you guys had an example so this is like how tiny they are I don't know if you do you see how tiny it is it's a really small picture and then I also cut out a hundred just blank white ones because I'm going to write on these so one side of the poker chip is gonna have a picture and on the other side I'm gonna write either a note or just like a little something I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do yet but I just wanted to show you guys, and then I'm going to show you guys how I cut these out, just so you could see. I just kind of sloppily cut along the edges. Okay, I kind of fixed the angle. I hope that's a little bit better so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just taking our pictures, and I use the hole punch backwards, that way I can see what I'm cutting out. And then I basically just cut out the pictures. So now I'm just going to take each of the poker chips and I'm going to do the picture side first just because it's going to be easiest. So I'm going to take the Mod Podge, I'm going to take a drop and put it on the chip. And then spread that around and then I'll put the picture down. And then on top of the picture I'm going to put more Mod Podge just so that I see that it sticks. Okay. 
Okay, so now, actually let me show you this. I'm sure you guys already know. But this is how the poker chips were that I bought. They're like in a tray. And there's 20 black, 20 green, 20 white, 20 blue, and 20 red. So I officially have 20 of them done. And I'm probably just gonna like do the other ones and show you guys the finished product. But I just wanted to show you guys like so far what I have going on for the first set that I did. And I believe like the first one I did is pretty much dry. But this is what it looks like. There you go. This is what the first one looks like. The picture is like not the best quality, but it still looks cute. And like you can see, it fits literally right in the center of the poker chip. And then I still have to do the blank side on the back. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys them so far. So this is what... All of the red ones look like, all of the pictures. I'm gonna let these dry and then flip them over and I'm just gonna put the blank white one on, like Maj Pajada now, and then write on it later. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of where I'm at now and explain what I did. So I'm just gonna wait for these to dry a little bit and then do the back of them. Okay, so that is all of the first set that I'm doing, so I still have four more to go. Like I said, I think it'd be easier if you got a set of 50 instead of a set of 100 because I doubt anybody will actually use these to play because I feel like it's more like a memento sort, th sort of thing. Okay, this is what the front looks like and you can kind of see the Mod Podge lines. This is what the one side looks like with the picture on it. I think it looks really cute. It, you can definitely feel the Mod Podge on it, but... Like I said, I really don't think it matters. I think it's still a cute gesture. And then on the back of all of them, I just decided to write I love you. But I just wrote I love you on the back of them because I think it's just simple. But I just think it looks really cute to, I don't know, have a picture and then have a little writing on the back. And it's super simple to make all these. It's just very, very time consuming. I think all these took me at least an hour and this is just 20 of them. So I still have a lot to go, but this is what they look like. I just wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below. And also, my boyfriend Eddie and I made a vlog channel. He's been in a couple vlogs with me recently, and we decided to make our own channel that is both of ours because he would be in a lot of my vlogs anyway because he's a big part of my life and we spend a lot of time together. So we just thought it'd be better to make our own separate channel where we can put all of our vlogs and like he can do stuff on it and I can do stuff on it. And I don't know, it just works better. And we're both really, really excited. He actually vlogged on his own today and so I don't know, I'm, it, we vlogged our Valentine's Day because today we're doing like our little Valentine's Day thing. So if you want to see what we did today and our plans and like what I got him and what he got me, make sure to go check out our vlog channel. I'll have it linked down below and then it'll also be like on my um, page. It's just Alexa and Eddie. Make sure to go subscribe to that. It would make us both very, very happy. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.